Hey collectors, it is Chris the Batman statue collector and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles and we have kind of a special treat. Um, this is an older piece and I'm talking about the Superman Justice League version of course from our friends over at Prime One Studio. This is one third scale and like I said this is an older piece but I had collector Eric Babcock reach out and say hey I have this piece, um, let's review it for the channel and I thought I actually had to go back and say we, we actually never ever reviewed this piece which is unbelievable to me um, because it really is a fantastic piece this is actually one that I had on pre-order I had this one I had Batman I had Wonder Woman and I ended up canceling all three I still wish I hadn't canceled the uh, the Batman um, but uh, I was I, I changed my mind I changed my direction of kind of like what I was going to collect I wasn't going to collect the movie pieces so this one actually never got covered uh, on the channel and so uh, I'm so thankful to Eric for for giving us this footage. So let's check this guy out. Um, this this is a long sold out piece um, at Sideshow, at Prime One. Um, you might be able to find this one still um, at some of the, uh, the buy sell trade groups. But look at that, that is Henry Cavill right there. I think they did a phenomenal job uh, with this portrait. It is very similar to the half scale, um, although I do think that this portrait actually is a little bit better than the half scale, although the materials I've heard um, are maybe just a little less uh, quality than the half scale, but overall this looks really great now what we're looking at is a fabric material obviously this is a polystone but then there is a fabric material all the way down to his boots um, and I think it looks really good you can see the shine underneath it which I think looks really fantastic um, and of course there there were two versions obviously they had this version and then of course the the black version as well from the Snyder cut um, 31 inches tall on this guy uh, so he's definitely <laughs> has a large presence uh, of course he's Superman he's gonna have a large presence but um, you have that translucent resin on the hands, um, but the, really, in my opinion, it's the suit here that is uh, is the major superstar of this piece. The the beautiful bright blues, and again, the fact that this is going to turn some people off. The fact that it is in fact fabric. Not everybody likes it. It can get snagged and that sort of thing. Um, but I do think that this will hold up very well over time in general. Look at the veins on the hands. Again, Prime One does such a good job with that. Uh, companies in general are getting really good at skin tones and textures and, and just, you know, really capturing those, that kind of that blue tone in the actual veins. So it's really, really cool. Um, but you can really see, even though this is fabric over polystone, you can really see the polystone shining through. I mean, I mean, literally you can see it shiny, but you can really see the texturing um, and just the muscle definition, which is really great. Um, I really like that it still pops throughout the statue and again it's really cool that it actually goes all the way down into the boots it's all fabric um, of course with some you know maybe some sort of vinyl material for the the embellishments but um, it looks really great obviously the base is cool here um, it's it's definitely going to match up with the other pieces in the line which we've seen we've seen a lot of collectors that have the entire line with flash and cyborg and wonder woman and it just looks really good in my opinion um, i love the logo and i love the alien you know kind of concept base um, that they did with, with all of these pieces and I love love I'm gonna say it again I love when Prime One does things to match bases because even if you're collecting let's say this but you're still collecting an Arkham piece they're still gonna look good next to each other there's so many elements that they kind of repeat in, in their bases especially color wise with a lot of grays that so many of these pieces in third scale look really great together regardless of genre um, so I'm really impressed with that um, Obviously the cape is also fabric as you can see, uh, but obviously Eric does a really great job here um, of focusing not only on the suit, but also the face itself. Uh, we, here we have a side profile. It's not going to be very deep, which is nice. It's not going to take up a tremendous amount of room, although he is tall at 31 inches tall. Um, but. I just think that this piece was really well done. Um, is it maybe somewhat boring to some people? Yes, it's, it, it is kind of, the, again, that whole line was just more of a museum pose, which is fine. Um, and this one, he kind of is like he's walking forward, um, which I know some people didn't like when this was first teased. Um, sorry, I just got distracted by all those amazing guitars and Spider-Man back there. Really cool display, right? Um, but anyway, fabric cape, I know, I know some people had some maybe some issues in the front with a little bit of a gapping, um, but I feel like Eric's looks really great here, obviously. Um, you can see the texture even in the, in the cape, so it's not just a flat red, it is a textured cape. Um, obviously, Prime One did their research and did a really good job on the suit overall and, and, and tried to make it as authentic um, as possible. Now, this is the exclusive that we're looking at. I will show you um, the head swap out here in just a moment, and also you get the mother box. Uh, 
which is really cool with the exclusive as well. So um, uh, multiple uh, pieces came with the mother box, so it just adds to the display. Obviously, uh, one reason I wanted to talk about this piece is because they are doing the Steppenwolf and they are doing the dark side. Um, so, you know, having some of these pieces and having some of the mother boxes as one big display will look really, really epic, especially if you're a major Justice League fan or just a Superman fan in general, super superhero genre, um, that sort of thing. But again, so you can see the leg kind of going forward. So some people didn't like that kind of like that step forward look. But um, regardless, uh, I think this is a really fun piece. I think it turned out really nice. And uh, one thing I wanted to say, uh, I forgot to mention at the beginning, is that Eric actually got this one from Sideshow Seconds, um, which we've talked a little bit on the channel before. But it's really cool that Sideshow, um, basically, if you're not aware, Sideshow now has a Seconds program where if there is a box, an art box that's slightly damaged, uh, they're lowering prices on pieces that are long sold out for 15% off. So they just have them in their warehouse ready to go. Um, and so that's how Eric was able to pick this one up. Um, so I know he was really thrilled. I think Sideshow Seconds is a great idea. Um, it's a little frustrating when they're in stock right now and uh, you can get one for cheaper and you already spent the full price. But uh, regardless, this is really cool. I'm really glad that he was able to pick it up. And speaking of picking it up, it's also the exclusive. So the exclusive has even been more sold out um, with this extra portrait, the rage, the red eyes. It's basically the same portrait, although um, one of his eyebrows is up, is up a little bit, but basically it's the exact same sculpt so it's it, you know it's a little bit different obviously the paint is different with the red but oh, I love this portrait it looks really fantastic and definitely uh, reflects his anger um, I just think it looks really great but again I uh, definitely want to promote Sideshow Seconds again I thought that was a brilliant idea um, so many people were able to get uh, e exclusives or regulars that have been long sold out which I think is just really cool um, and I hope that they uh, do that more often but anyway from top to bottom this is a really fun piece again I know it's an older piece uh, so thank you if you've made it through this far of the recording um, but it's still we hadn't ever covered it on the channel so I thought why not and again I want to give a major shout out to Eric Babcock again for filming for us um, but I want to know down below what you guys think um, do you have this piece are you still happy with it um, do any of you have concerns about the fabric elements uh, over time um, and uh, is this one better than the Hush Superman? I know that's always the big argument, you know, because um, the Hush Superman is just phenomenal. But I still think this one has its place in the Superman collection. But again, I, I do want to know your thoughts. Um, if you are new here, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, click that notification bell, make sure you choose all. And just thank you guys so very much for taking the time out of your day uh, to watch this video. If you want to take it one step further, hit the join button down below for early access to our videos. Otherwise, thank you you guys so very much i appreciate it thanks again to eric and i hope you enjoyed this quick review of the superman justice league one third scale uh, statue from our friends over at prime one studio thanks for watching see you next time right here in the bat cave bye everybody Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today, and if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen, and check out these two awesome videos, I think you're going to love them, and also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching, see you in the Batcave.